So you're thinking about moving to Colts Neck. Well, today we're gonna cover all the different neighborhoods of Colts Neck, how much your money can buy you there, how big of a house you can expect to buy there, what the different styles are, so that you can sit down and go, okay, this is a place that feels like a good fit, maybe this part of town isn't for me, and you can really narrow your search to make sure you find the right place for you. Welcome to our first stop, which is the Grand at Colts Neck. This is a, not a private community or a gated community, but it is a development built in the early 90s of about 180 single family houses. This is a lot of people's first stop in town, mine included, this was our first house in town. What you're gonna find here are generally about 1,900 square foot to 2,500 square foot homes, all built in the early 90s, and they're all colonials, three bedrooms or four bedrooms. The big bonus of this community is the fact that you have about 12 different cul-de-sacs, so you've got a tight-knit community here of just your block. There's also a community pool, community playground, and a community basketball court. If you are looking for the place to take your kid for Halloween, this is the spot. Not only do the people here who live in the community trick or treat here, but pretty much the surrounding three or four towns all bring their kids here to trick or treat because you can knock out about 150 houses in two hours. So whether you're looking to start in town here and then upgrade to a bigger house, or you just choose to stay here, the Grand's a great option for you because the price point right now in 2023 is gonna be between 550,000 and 750,000. Now obviously that's gonna go up based upon the prices in town elsewhere, but it's a great first start or for someone who's looking to downsize to a smaller, more manageable house, still have their own property without having to be an attached condo or an adult community complex. Second stop on our tour is gonna to be to New Street, which is just the name of the road behind me here, but it's really a three or four street area in the central district of Colts Neck, closest to where the old historic part of town is that was settled after the Revolutionary War. Some of the houses here go back into the 1800s, if not the early 1900s. And generally what you're looking at are 700 square feet to about 1400 square feet on a smaller piece of property, little Cape Cods or ranch style houses, but they have that really authentic vibe of like an older farmhouse town. It's really neat because you can walk to the Colts Neck Inn, you can walk to the rest of the restaurants and the shopping that's in town, and you don't have a major house to take care of. Price ranges for these are gonna generally run you anywhere between $400,000 up to about $750,000. So it's a great entry level price point to get into. So we're at our third stop, which is Clover Hill. So we are here in Clover Hill, which is a section of Colts Neck. It's one of my favorites. So many people who start their home search in Colts Neck want to be here. It's sometimes an entry level price point, sometimes an upgrade for people in town. But one of the things that draws people here is the fact that this is like a slice of Americana and the prototype for suburban living if you're gonna find it in Colts Neck. You can hear the dogs barking in the background, people walking their dogs. If there's a place in town where kids are gonna ride their bikes and walk to their friends' houses, this is the part where it's gonna be. You probably have about 700 houses here that were all built in the 60s and 70s by one contractor. Really, really good contractor. So these houses have stood the test of time. And you have split levels, by levels, ranches, and colonials. Generally about 2,200 square feet up to about 3,500 square feet. And right now they're gonna run you between 750,000 and 1.2 to 1.3 million. What we're seeing is because these are older homes and they have eight foot ceilings, there are a lot of people who choose not to move out of here. They're taking their older houses and doing massive renovations on them. They could move to a more expensive house in a different part of town, but they love being here in Clover Hill. And because of that, they're just doing big renovations and popping the top off of their ranches and adding a second floor to them. We go trick or treating here in town. This is one of my favorite parts of town to hang out in. And we have a ton of friends who live here. I think you'll love it too. All right, on our next stop here, we're gonna talk about the Twin Lakes community, which is right off Pebble Creek Golf Course, which is behind these houses. This is a very rare community because it fills a void that a lot of people are looking for in town. You're not necessarily looking for the small starter house, but you can't afford the big 7,000 square foot mansion yet. This kind of services it, things in the middle. And there's not many of these communities that exist in town. What you're gonna find here are houses that are on about an acre to two acres. They're generally gonna run about 3,000 square feet to 4,500 square feet. And price-wise, they're gonna run you somewhere between $1.2 million up to about $1.6 million. Maybe you're that person moving out of a townhouse down to Colts Neck and you want that place you're gonna be for the next 20 years, or maybe you're the entry level house that's looking to upgrade, but you don't really want the gigantic place. This kind of serves that purpose perfectly. And there's really only about two or three type of developments here in town like this that serve that need. Next up on our list is the Trump development. This is off Trump National Golf Course here in town, but there's no affinity between the two. So it's not like just because you own a house here that you get access to the country club. That's a private membership. The cool thing is though, that if you do happen to belong there and you have your own golf cart, you can take the golf cart right from your house and out to the golf course, back to the clubhouse and play around. The development here only has about 35 to 40 houses. They're on slightly larger pieces of property. So you're looking at about two to three acres for most of these and they're bigger houses too. So you're looking about 4,500 square feet on the low end 
and about 7,500 to 8,000 square feet on the high end. They're spread out a little bit more. You've got nice wide streets and a lot of people desire to be here for two reasons. One, it's centrally located in town. So you're literally about a mile from all the downtown section where you have restaurants and shops. And two, it's really quiet. Nobody's coming through this development unless you live here. So kids and young families definitely love it here because you get a lot more privacy. So welcome to River's Edge, which is called that because the Swimming River Reservoir sits behind this development. That's the waterway that exists between Colts Neck and Lincroft that actually is used as the drinking water reservoir for about 95% of the county. This is a hidden gem that a lot of people don't know about. There's only about 40 houses in this development, but the reason why it's so popular is for two reasons. First, the properties here are about an acre and a half to three acres. There's somewhere between 4,500 square feet and 7,500 square feet. So you can get into these price range wise anywhere from about a million and a half up to about three and a half million dollars. But the real reason is that this sits east of Route 34. So for anybody who's commuting to the city, cutting down on commute time is super important. So generally, if you're looking in Monmouth County and considering Colts Neck, if you have to commute to the city, you're only looking east of Route 34. And there's very few developments with these style and size houses that are east of Route 34. So if you're looking for that and that's part of your search criteria, this is definitely one of those neighborhoods you need to focus on. Okay, we've reached my favorite neighborhood, which is the Deputy Minister neighborhood. There's three streets, Scobieville, Secretariat, and Deputy Minister that are not just mine, but a lot of people's favorite streets in town because of the different architecture. Deputy Minister sits right off of the Due Process Country Club, which is behind us here. And these three streets were developed originally to have access to the golf course and country club, but also they were supposed to have access to the stables on due process so that each of these homeowners could have private access for their horses as well as to the country club. It didn't really end up working out that way, but you still have homes that back up to the golf course. And what's great about these three streets is the properties here are very large. You're looking anywhere between three and seven acres. The estates start at around 7,000 square feet all the way up to about 20,000 square feet. And they're super different architecture because every house that was built in here was generally done by a different architect and a different builder. So very private. If you see anybody driving down these streets, it's generally because you either live here or you are gawking at the beautiful houses on the street. So the last stop on our visit today is gonna to be covering farm estates. Whether you're looking for an empty piece of land or an actual functioning farm, all of that exists here in Colts Neck. Generally speaking, when people are looking for farmland, you're looking for something bigger than six acres because the state requires for farm assessment that you have at least five acres just for generating income from the farm. And then one acre is the minimum lot size in Colts Neck. So six acres for the smallest farm assessment property all the way up to 200 acres is what we have here in town. An example of this is Bruce Springsteen who lives here in town that has about 70 acres or a little bit more and he has that all to himself. So whether you're looking for a functioning farm that has an old school farmhouse on it, you can find that for probably around 1.3 to two and a half million dollars and you might get somewhere between six and 15 acres or if you just want a really big parcel that's 100 acres for you to build your estate on that also exists and we have properties like that in town that go for 15 to 30 million dollars in pricing. Now, if you're looking for a big piece of farmland to subdivide and do a, a smaller subdivision of 20 or 30 houses, just know that's really hard to do in town here because of something called 10 acre zoning. Basically any piece of property that's already bigger than 10 acres can't be subdivided into pieces that are smaller than 10 acres without getting a variance, which requires a long drawn out process. But if you're looking for a developable piece of land, make sure you reach out to us privately about that. Hope you guys found that helpful and now have a better idea what part of town you wanna live in. And if you wanna apply that to a search, you can go right to our website where you can put in that part of town and be able to find the perfect place for you. If you want to keep up tabs on what's going on with the market, we also drop market updates once a month on our website. And lastly, if you already live in Colts Neck and you're thinking about selling, we would love to help you. The number you can reach me on is 201-903-1666. See you on the next one.